I started writing songs when I went to college. I went to this real tiny little liberal arts school in Indiana. And um, so I started writing songs and there were tons of other musicians at the college that I went to, you know, so everybody was writing songs. So there were lots of like coffee shop singer-songwriter nights, you know. So I just kind of started doing that and, and then I would play like down the street at the other college and just kind of slowly over my four year college career kind of like built a little bit around kind of the Midwest a little bit and then once I graduated from college in 05, um, I went up to New York and I'd never played up there before so I had like three shows set up at like hole in the wall places, you know. And, but a couple label people came out, and, and so, long story short, I ended up signing with Island Left Jam and doing a couple records with them over the past couple years. And then, um, and then just recently, I, I split with them, signed with a new label, Razor and Tide, and working on putting out another. I, when I was growing up, I listened to nothing but Elton John and Billy Joel, and I listened to a lot of Perry Connick Jr. too. Um, and they're like, I've always wanted to be Billy Joel ever since I was a kid. And, um, but it was always like, I mean, I, I loved their music and I loved the piano. And, um, but I was so young, like, it was just this big dream. But I remember when the first time I heard Ben Folds 5, for the first time, I can like remember exactly where I was, you know, what I was doing. And it like, Changed my life. Like I, I, that, I listened to their Whatever and Ever Amen record like probably 5,000 times that year, you know. Pretty and so, Ben Folds is, is I mean, those, those guys are, are huge influences. Ben Folds is probably my biggest influence. This record has encompassed like two labels and, you know, a good two and a half years of time, you know. It was, it was a fight to put it together, you know, and, and get it. Um, which I'm okay with that because it was like for the first time I really knew exactly what I wanted to do with the, you know, with the, the lyrics, with the music, with the artwork, everything, you know. And um, so, you know, it just it just took a while. When when you don't have any opinion, you know, you can crank out records like crazy. I don't know if I would say it's different, but um, there are a lot of things that are magnified, you know, like every, every, since we took so much time off, you know, and I think every artist feels this way at the beginning of every tour, but you don't, you have no idea what to expect, you know, you just put these, you book these shows and you're like, man, I hope some people in Austin, Texas still come out, you know. Um, so the fact that the, the shows have been great and, and the rooms have been awesome, you know, it's just amazing. Like, I'm very, very, I, I've always been grateful for that, but I'm, this time around, I'm even more so grateful for everybody who buys a ticket, everybody who, you know, buys a record. Really nice. I'd say maybe even better.